came to the UK, well my family left um, Taiwan when I was five and we emigrated to South Africa. When my family moved here when I was 11, um, we had a very, very great comfortable life in South Africa. My, my father built up his, his business enterprise, it was very successful, he wanted to do the same here and he had visions of um, my brother and I you know, studying at Oxford and Cambridge, you know, thinking of the great education in Britain. Unfortunately, when we moved here, it was 1989, 1990 was the economic recession, and he'd invested a lot of money here, and the business wasn't so successful for many year, years onwards. It, there were many struggles, actually, economic, financial struggles, and um, I just wanted to make a better, um, a better life for us so that was one of the motivations I know it sounds awful that money was the driving force making money was the driving force behind starting my business but really by the time I was 21 and I finished college university I was in a pretty desperate situation so, you know, I was always passionate about food I'd learnt about food when I was growing up from a very young age because my mother would travel often so she my father's a really really bad cook so she kind of taught me how to make dishes and I would cook for him and for my brother when he used to come back from school one particular event I just remember lots of doors closing lots of hurdles um, I had to break down absolutely many times when I get a call and say Ching this is not working you know the products aren't selling or for some reason, customers don't want to eat cold noodles, you know, what, what can we do? So I had to develop the business and try different things. It was really hard, really, really hard. This is one problem, you solve this problem, the next time it's another problem, you solve that problem and you just keep going. So, you know, I didn't really think too much about it. It's just, you've got to kind of believe that you can do it. You know, when you're cooking in front of a whole room of people watching you and then there's this camera looking at you saying you know look into me and you know cook for me it's kind of a little bit daunting sometimes I'm proud of who I am and where I come from and I'm very grateful and thankful of my parents and just of the experience that I've had you know um, of the culture and and I I regret now that I didn't go to all my Sunday school Chinese lessons <laughs> I wish I had. And, you know, you look around life where you think, oh, I'm having a really bad day and, you know, things aren't going right and sometimes we're a little bit too spoiled. And then when I think back of my grandparents and getting up at five in the morning, doing what they do, farming, how difficult that is to try and cultivate crops, you know, survive in, in times of bad weather or drought, trying to bring up 10, 11 children, you know, not knowing, you know, when I think about that, you've got absolutely nothing to complain about. I think we're, we're so lucky, um, a lot of us, and, um, and I think we just should be blessed for what we have.